I'm here in Jackson Township, New Jersey, the home of the New Jersey Warriors football team. And we're going to take a look and get a chance for you guys to get to know these players and coaches. I'm here with Chris Melvin, the recruiting coordinator for the New Jersey Warriors. Chris, thank you so much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. I'm glad to be here despite the cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's certainly something that we've been dealing with throughout the course of this, but I really appreciate it no nonetheless. Way. So my first question to you, Chris, is just talk about the program itself. You guys are in just your second year. and Just talk to me a little bit about you know the process and how everything has gone so far. Yeah, you know, like you stated, this is our second year. Um, at this, we're currently four and three. Mm -hmm. um, Kudos to Sean Kinnish. He's right. the uh, chief of our staff and uh, the uh, director of the entire corporation that we have here, the New Jersey Warriors. Um, again, we are four and three right mm -hmm. now. This is our second year, and we played competitive football the entire season. Uh, we had three tough losses, um, but we also had four outstanding wins. And um, we're looking to build on uh, those wins this uh, this upcoming Sunday against well, Lackawanna. Right. And there's nothing like continuing to build on. And just for, for the folks at home, just kind of do a – just more like a little bit of more explanation just for people who are not fully sure about the New Jersey Warriors or don't know very much about them. Just kind of give a little bit of a brief thing about what you guys do and what you guys provide for kids who still want to play football. Oh, I myself, I'm the uh, director of recruiting. We have Coach uh, Lenny Albon, who's uh, the head coach. I'm your head coach, Len Albon. Coach, thank you for so much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. Absolutely. So my first question to you, Coach, is just looking at practice today, how do you think your team did today? Uh, we're practicing hard. We did well. We we are as prepared as I think we can be for this upcoming game. Well, that's great. And my next question, Coach, is looking at this entire year, you're getting ready to finish up just the second year of this organization, but how do you feel this team has come along since the beginning of the year? Uh, absolutely tremendously. Uh, taking the situation that we have, all these athletes come from different counties, mm -hmm. different county colleges. Um, most of them, when we come together, they just know one or two other guys. Right. So by the time we get to this part, which is the end of our season, to see how they've united and actually f formed and come together as a team, uh, it's very impressive. It makes me happy. And uh, it's really the purpose and the goal of, or one of the goals of our team, our mission. And that's great. I mean, really, you guys have done such a fantastic job with this organization, only in just its second year, and you guys are incredibly competitive. And that kind of leads me to my next question. Going up against Lackawanna, where are going to be some of the, the biggest keys going in to try to get an upset against this very talented Lackawanna team? Well, first, I want to say they are a very talented team. Uh, we look forward to the challenge, though. The challenge that we have is keeping our kids, compo I shouldn't call them kids, young men, young mm -hmm. athletes, composed. Right. Uh, they are athletes on both sides of the ball and once they are uh, realize that they are competitive they can compete at this high level that's why they're here right uh, we are not a pushover team by no means and it takes a long time to gel as we do and now that we have this is a great opportunity to show everybody out there that we are the real deal that we practice hard we take this seriously and as long as our players stay composed and play and execute the way we know they can it should be a very exciting game it certainly should. Well, Coach, I really appreciate you taking the time today, and I want to wish you nothing but the best against Lackawanna this upcoming weekend. We really appreciate it. Thanks again for coming out. Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an outstanding football, a co a coaching staff, I must say. I'm here at Joaquin Smith, the defensive coordinator for the New Jersey Warriors. Coach, thank you so much for coming out today. I appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. So my first question, Coach, is coming out to practice today, how did, how did the defense look today? Oh, great as always, you know, flying around, having fun, you know, you're making plays, you know, that's what we do, day in, day out. That's definitely a very good point. And my next question, Coach, is this. Obviously, you're at the last game of the season. Talk to me a little bit about how, in your eyes, the, the team has done. Obviously, with a 3-3 three and three record, it's, it's very impressive. And just talk about just the chemistry, the camaraderie of this whole team and, and what it's been throughout the course of the year. Well, first and foremost, you know, I, a good defense got to have camaraderie, got to have chemistry, you know. So I've been preaching that from day one. You know, I mean, that everybody, you know, was family out here. You mm -hmm. know, everybody treats each other like they're brothers, and everybody's responsible for the next man's actions. So, you know, therefore, you know, that's we got to have a family atmosphere out here, and everybody play, you know, together. You know, that's the only way we're going to win. That's the only way we're going to do good as a defense is if we play together. So that's what I preach. Well, sir. Those are great points. My last question to you, Coach, is going into your game to this week against Lackawanna, what are some of the goals that you want to obviously achieve on the defensive side? or you know, What is going to be some of the things to stop this Lackawanna offense? Oh, definitely stopping the run. You know, that's what they like to do. You know, I feel like we had our strong point with our DBs. You know, we got the best DBs around, period. If not, in the country, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm big on my DB, so I want them to pass the ball. So, you know, by them passing the ball, you know, that's in our hands. 
We just got to stop the run. Once we stop the run, anything else will work out for us. We'll stop the run. I like that, Coach. Well, Coach, I really appreciate you coming out today, and good luck the rest of the season. Good luck up against your game against Lackawanna. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm here with Darvin Henderson, the offensive coordinator for the New Jersey Warriors. Coach, thank you for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you for having me. So my first question, Coach, is this. You know, how did the uh, offense look today in practice? Uh, I think that we look good. Um, it's always a challenge when you have a good defense on the other side, so we always got to drum up things to hopefully make it work, make sense, um, and find our rhythm so we can uh, pass the ball downfield, move the chains hard, and uh, make our offense productive. It's definitely an important thing to be productive, and that kind of leads me into my next question, Coach, is going up against Lackawanna this week, what are going to be some of the goals that you want to try to achieve against Lackawanna's defense? Um, pretty much the same thing as every week. Uh, we want to have no turnovers. Uh, we want to limit our penalties. Um, and, I, and I think um, secure the ball. I think if we do those three things well, I think that we have moved the ball on everybody in the nation, um, at least the ones that we have faced. And um, we're going to move the ball on Sunday. We just got to make sure that we limit our turnovers and our mistakes on our, uh, on our side. And then I think we'll have a good game. That's great. My last question to you, Coach, is this. What has been the – some of the most enjoyable things about this whole season, you know, just as a whole? Um, I could say, you know, my first crack at being an offensive coordinator, moving the ball, have success, winning games and all those type of things. But I'm going to give you the cheesy answer, but I think it's really just our family environment on our team. You know, it's nobody, we do wrong, nobody's putting anybody down, everybody's picking everybody up, and just all the positivity. You know, we need everybody collectively, whether the players need the coaches and the coaches need the players. So, you know, we need to have a collective effort to, you know, execute and do what we need to do and win games. Well, collective effort is certainly going to be important against Lackawanna. Well, Coach, I really appreciate you coming on today. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Make sure you pay attention Sunday, all right? Pay attention to the scoreboard. Um, and we also have an outstanding football team. Yes, you do. Uh, I could go on and on about a couple of players, which I'll do after, after I speak about um, what we actually stand for. Uh, New Jersey Warriors, we're based in uh, Jackson, New Jersey, Ocean right. County, um, and we're not geared to one uh, community college. Right. We have players coming from Mercer. We have players coming from Monmouth County. We have players coming from Ocean County, S Somerset County. Right. So we have, uh, in between all these counties, we have pl um, different institutions mm -hmm. to where all our players can attend junior college, right. well, community colleges. Mm -hmm. um, but there's one JUCO around that um, caters to all these universities, uh, these student athletes. Right. And that's the New Jersey Warriors. Mm -hmm. Well, those are very good points. And like you said before, it kind of leads me to my next question. Talk to me about some of the, the players on this team and just everything about this team as a whole. I'm going to start off by talking about the big guy. Uh, 6'4", 315 pounds, Joe McAvoy. Mm. Joe's um, uh, a 2.4 GPA kid, a uh, young man mm -hmm. who uh, has uh, Middle Tennessee State, Rutgers, Monmouth, uh, Stony Brook, a bunch of uh, universities that are on his trail. Uh, he's a player that um, is actually started off at Wagner. Um, right. And he, uh, for, we're fortunate to get him. I'm here with left tackle Joseph McAvoy after a hard practice here today. Joseph, thank you for coming on today. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you for having me. And my first question to you, Joseph, is what, what college do you go to right now? I attend Ocean County College in Toms River, New Jersey. You're obviously getting ready for the last game of the season against Lackawanna. What is... What, what can you say about how the season has gone so far, obviously? Uh, we had a pretty good season this year. We are 3-3 three and three right now, but we fell out at a lot of parts. Uh, we haven't had a lot of depth at the offense and defensive line, so we uh, fell short with adversity there. But for the second year of the program, we've, we're doing pretty well. Those are very good points, and kind of leads me to my next question. Going into this game against Lackawanna, what is going to be the, the biggest keys on the offensive line that you guys want to try to achieve against this team? Uh, containing their defensive line. Their whole defensive line has Division One scholarships, number 50. Uh, shout out to him. He going to Tennessee, 46. He going to Rutgers. And the, we just got to contain and play smart, physical, no uh, miss assignments. And I think we'll have a good, pretty good game. Those are very good. So my last question to you is this. You know, what are, you know, obviously you're here with the New Jersey Warriors and this is certainly a tremendous program that you, you guys are a part of, but you know, what's kind of like, what are the other goals that you have in mind, not just with the Warriors, but in future endeavors in uh, football? Uh, I plan to get a full scholarship from a Division One school. I have three years left of eligibility and I plan to continue after this December I graduate. 
That was great. Well, Joseph, I really appreciate you coming on today. I know it's a little bit cold, but I really appreciate it, and good luck the rest of the season. All right, thank you. Thank you again. Besides, Joe, we have a guy that's lined up uh, behind him to the left, and that's Damian Doggett, who you mm. met, uh, who's, I call him Mr. Electric, because if you watch him, you'll see he's a, he's a human highlight reel. He, uh, he can toss the ball, as you see, as you saw here at practice today, but he can also run it, and he's a leader out there. I'm here with Damian Doggett, starting quarterback for the New Jersey Warriors. Thank you so much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So my first question to you, Damian, is this. Really just how did you think practice went today? It went better. You know, we're starting to, as the season's going on, we're starting to, you know, get together, starting bonding more, and our plays are coming more natural for each other, you know, to move the chains easier on the defense. The, the defense early in the year, you know, was stopping us. You know, we was confused, but now we're, you know, having a normal pace of the offense and a good tempo. That's great. And then my next question to you, Damian, is this. For you as a quarterback, what are going to be some of the, the biggest things going into this matchup? It's a very tough luck on a defense. Um, one, take less hits as possible. You know, don't turn the ball over, you know, and score when we get the opportunity to. Thank you, Puts. And my last question to you, Damian, is this. Do you feel that you definitely can have, you definitely have a family-type atmosphere when you play for the New Jersey Warriors? Yes, yeah, very. You know, I know most of these guys, you know, they're from back in the area. And, you know, all the new guys that's here, you know, they're easy to, easy to talk to, easy. You know, we all, you know, buddy buddies, all jokes, you know, after practice, but in practice it's very competitive. So, it's, you know, it's very, it's good atmosphere. Well, Damian, I really appreciate you coming out today. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Receiver-wise, we had a guy who was on the show with, right. with us, Alante Hare who uh, 6'2", 160 pounds soaking wet, but uh, he catches everything you throw to him. And uh, he has a lot of moves. He, uh, he accelerates well off the ball. And uh, that's Alante Hare. I'm here with Alante Hare, wide receiver for the New Jersey Warriors. Alante, thank you for coming out today. I appreciate it. I appreciate it for you having me. So my first question, Alante, for the folks at home, just let them know uh, what community college you're going to right now. I'm attending Brookdale Community College right now in Free Hope. That's great. So Brookdale Blues, I like that. So Alante, my next question to you is this, just – Talk a little bit about, just kind of review the season. How do you think it's gone? You're getting ready for your last game against Lock On, but just kind of look back and review of how the season's been. I mean, the season's been going great. You know what I'm saying? We've been kept coming together as a team lately, and we can. We, our offense has been driving the ball. Defense been flying around being physical mm -hmm. since the first game, man. And, and no matter what team we go against, they could be 16, number four in the country. We have always been positive and just kept moving the ball and kept doing our thing on defense and special teams. Well, it's not like being positive throughout every single game. And my next question to you, Ante, is this. Going up against Lackawanna, what are going to be some of the keys on the offensive side of the ball and also for you in particular that you want to try to achieve to try to get an upset against Lackawanna? I mean, we got to move the ball and make no mistakes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, all, it's all about that. You know what I'm saying? Moving the ball and make no mistakes and being consistent on each down. You know what I mean? So it got to be we need 10 yards, we need them 10. If we need five, we need that five. That's all it is. Well, that's great. Well, I... Well, I really appreciate you coming on today, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Let's go to the other side of the ball. Sure. Uh, we have Musa Hemby. He's 6'3", 205 pounds. He's like a deer. Um, I've seen a lot of guys that transition on from high school mm -hmm. to the collegiate level and going on to the, um, to the NFL. Uh, he's that type of guy. You know, I've seen a lot of uh, players. Uh, I scouted for the NFL two years. I've seen a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. He's that type of guy. I'm here with Musa Hemby, a D-back for the New Jersey Warriors. Musa, thank you for coming on today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So my first question is, you know, how do you think practice went today, and how do you think you personally did today? Um, practice, you know, went great. You know, it was the last practice, you know, preparing for Lackawanna. You know, we, um, we went out, you know, we did a good job. And, you know, me personally, you know, I'm preparing for Lackawanna, you know, staying composed, you know, you know, just competing. So. Well, that's great, Nick. What you kind of said kind of leads me to my next question. Talking about Lackawanna, what are going to be some of the keys going into this from the defensive back perspective on stopping Lackawanna's offense? Just, you know, just staying composed, stopping the running game. Um, our defense coordinator, you know, Kwaheen Smith has, you know, prepared us as a defense, you know, to, to stop him. You know, we did a lot of, you know, film breakdown, you know, a lot of practicing, you know, technique work. So, you know, it, it's all be there. Even though, you know, they are the, you know, ranked JUCO, but, you know, we have our guys too, so. Well, you guys are certainly primed to make an upset this week, so that's definitely something you want to keep your eye on. And so my next question to you, Musa, is this. Just talk to me about some of the things that have been great about playing for the New Jersey Warriors. Um, you know, New Jersey Warriors, you know, it's an upcoming program. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we do a lot here. 
you know, even though it's, you know, it's a second year program, you know, we do what we need to do. We still practice, you know, we're still a football team, even though we might, we're not, we're not, not, we not might be the same as the other Juco's, but, you know, we're upcoming, so. You guys are certainly a very talented football program. My last question is for the folks at home, just tell them right now, you know, where you're attending at your community college. I go to Mercer County Community College. Well, those are all great. Well, Moose, I really appreciate you coming on today. I know it's a little bit cold and everything, yeah, but yeah. I really appreciate it. So, but really, good luck against Lackawanna. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it. But my last question to you, Chris, is this. Just if you have one message you want to tell everybody, the folks at home, what would that message be? If you're planning on, if you're at the Jersey Shore, if you're in New Jersey right. and you want to play Juco football, there's one Juco that you need to play for, and that's the New Jersey Warriors. New Jersey Warriors, you heard here first from Chris. Well, Chris, I thank you so much for coming on today. I know the weather would have been a little frigid. bit warmer. <laughs> frigid is the right word, but I really appreciate you coming on today. And I want to say, you know, thank you guys very much for allowing me to come and speak to you guys. And I want to say good luck the rest of the season, and I hope to see you guys next year. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. This team is certainly an exciting Juco football team to check out, and they will continue to get more and more exciting as the years goes on, and they continue to progress. From Jackson Township, I'm Neil Villapiano.